Okay guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back on the E36 for a part two of the build. The engine is still not complete. Well, we're seeing, um, we're just sourcing some little bits to get it sorted, like just the finishing touches, and then hopefully that will be done. But whilst we're waiting for that, we're gonna do the first sort of modification to this car, apart from that whole engine situation, which is interior. Well, I miss the most interior, but if, it, if anyone's got a black coupe, floor, black coupe carpet, I need the front and a black roof liner for a sunroof please message me i need one but yeah we're gonna be installing some corbo corbao however you want to say it bucket seats these are the ones that everyone sort of goes for but um they look really nice in the car and stuff but i've been test fitting it and i've already come into some issues i'm hoping the lighting's okay but as you can see this is the the subframe uh it's bolted as a fly so i'm missing the front nut and the rear bolt's not going down properly, but this is just a temporary fit, just so I can work out, it's not going anywhere soon. As you can see, I've been drilling these out because I'm trying to push it over a bit more. I don't want to go too close to the edge where it loses the safety aspect of things, but I need to go further. Also, I'm thinking of drilling these ones out just to push it over a bit more. But that being said, say the steering wheel is here and this is the centre point, I am sitting here. I'm gonna bolt the seat in anyway. I've drilled out as far as I can, like comfortably drilled out without it becoming unsafe. Um, so I'm gonna bolt the seat in now, probably on the runners and stuff. That's what it's called runners. And we'll see how it fits. Worse comes to worse, I'll just have to get uh, fixed side mounts in the driver's side, probably like Drift Works or somewhere will sell them. And then the passenger side, I'll leave it on runners. I don't really wanna do it that way, but. If it feels shit and I'm sitting wonky, it's just going to drive me mental. I'd rather just have it fixed. And worse and worse, if people want to jump in it, I'll get out with my Alfred Salt kit, unbolt it, and bolt it more forward. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to give that a go anyway. Um, we're going to get the seat in. It's going to look great. I should probably show you the seat. These are pretty much the seats everyone goes for. They're the, the go-to bucket seats for people. They're non-FIA approved, but we're not doing any track days or drift days or anything like that. So. It's great for what it needs to be. They're comfortable and they are still safe. People love these, like everyone just wants them. I'm sure when it comes, if I wanted to upgrade some Spilecos, I could sell them in like less than 24 hours because everyone seems to want a set of these. But um, I think they look nice in the E36 interior. I've got the black carpet, but like I said, I want to get the black carpet, the black top bit. And then um, I've got an, a really cool steering wheel to fit to that. So it should sort of make the interior look a bit nicer in here. So that should be really cool. With all that being said, I have actually just launched a new thing on my YouTube. You see there's like a join button on the screen or when you go onto, the, onto my YouTube. If you want to join, it's the YouTube members thing. I'm sure you've heard of it. Donut Media do it, loads of people do it. It's sort of like the new Patreon, but you get a lot more value for your money. And I've done it ridiculously cheap. So you can sign up for 99p which is the cheapest one, just to help sort of support the channel, keep all the videos going. And what that will get you is, I'll show it on the screen, but so you've got like three different levels. I think one of the top levels is like a free t-shirt and discount on the store, early access to videos, include different chats, all like special emojis and stuff like that. It helps the channel, free stickers, discount on the website, B17 and White and B7 performance. So if you want to sign up, please do down below. Um, I'd really appreciate it. If you can't, no worries. Anyway, we're gonna get into installing this. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna unbolt the passenger seat for now because it only comes with passenger seat. Get that out. Probably get the passenger seat sorted first and then we'll go into the drivers because the driver's been a bit tricky. So, new table from Ford Fair. We've got the side mounts already bolted onto the rails for the bucket seats. Now I'm gonna mount the side mounts to the seat just by hand. Then we can line it up to go in the passenger seat. The passenger one will be fine because obviously it doesn't really need to be moved unless it's hitting on the door card. So I'm just gonna line these up, get them on, and then get them in the car. So side mounts and runners and the, the bar are all bolted on. 
So now we can get it in the actual car. These look so good. Like they're so clean and nice. I know they're not FIA approved or whatnot, but they're just a nice blank canvas and you get some nice harness and stuff to go in. I don't want to go for like orange, like loud driftwork ones. I want three inch ones, I don't want like two inch like my fiesta because I want to get rid of them anyway. They're not very nice harnesses. But um, yeah, they should look good. Also, I don't know if anyone was at LZ Festival at last weekend. Don't know when this is going live, but whenever LZ Festival was. If it was, it was sick meeting Irish people that were like subscribed to the channel. Really weird, like random, but really cool. It was a sick event. I loved it. I'm actually in Adam Ozzy's new video. If you check it out, you see him drifting and then he's standing there and then I'm standing like this filming. It is, it is great. Like, it was just, it was sick. It was an insane festival. I went VIP, it was mad. But yeah, if you didn't go, you should go. That's why I'm now doing more E36 stuff because I feel inspired to get this fucking car on the road and actually take it out properly. So we're getting shit done. Now we can get this in the car. I've got to put a lot of nuts, bolts and washers in now. So I'm not going to bother even time lapsing this because it's going to waste my memory card for about 10 minutes of me fiddling with nuts and bolts. But we've got some big boy power washing that on it. We're not doing anything silly, so it's all going to be secure. You tell them. Secure. Secure. Safety. Yes. Safety for him. Okay. Let's get the bucket seats in. have it boys believe it or not behind the layer of thick dusk there is some new bad boy bucket seats installed look at that the passenger side i had a big problem with i'll show you now it it was very annoying i didn't think of it but the driver side was a lot easier because of where the hydro mounts here obviously it takes up a lot of room so when i had the fronts in was no problem bolting the rears in through this way i probably should have just took this out and mount it to the base then mount the base in but it made it a lot more difficult for me whereas the other side there was a lot more clearance but where i've had to drill it out to slide it across it has slid across a bit more so it's a bit a bit more central but now i've done that it's a bit on the wonk where obviously they're not both perfectly drilled out even so i may crack the other side loose when i've got some time get measuring tape out and just actually mark up to make sure they are it is straight and not just at a bit of an angle it's at the tiniest bit of an angle I literally got a, a bolt and like there was like two threads off but because I know it's two threads off it was annoying me and I've not even driven anywhere yet so I'm going to straighten it up a bit next time I come down here but there's no point of me spending more time now it's about eight o'clock at night and I kind of want to go and have some dinner today um I do have a passenger door card if you're wondering why it's not on I don't know why it's not on to be honest I probably should put it on there because it'll make the interior look a lot better and that way I could check the clearance from the door as you can see from here it's very close. Um, I'm not too sure what else I can do to move it across. Doug's jumping in. But, um, yeah, I think that's just going to be a problem in general to have. But I could have worse problems, you know what I mean? He seems to approve as he's just made himself comfortable in the new seats. Nice and dirty. Yeah? Cool. Also, in case you're wondering where the Mark 8 content has gone, I filmed the whole video on the Mark 8 and I... It's on my SD card, but it's not letting my PC see that it's there. And when I go on my through my memory on my camera, it won't load properly. But it is there, and it was working fine a few weeks ago. But all of a sudden, it's just like in a weird way corrupted. And I don't want to make the video again because I installed like five different, six different mods on the car. It's going to be long to have to redo it all. But if I have to, I will. But we're going to film a video on the Mark 8 tomorrow, actually, install some more mods. So if you want more Mark 8 content, please stay tuned. We've got the 36 here. Obviously, we've done a good video on today. Okay, all right. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LABB, who we running with?